and welcome to my online psychology course. My name is Professor Claire Zaborowski. Um, you can call me Professor Z and when you address me in email or if you need to call me just call me Professor Z and that's a lot easier. I wanted to give you some basic information about me and taking an online class from me to help you get started. Everything I discuss in the short video is also listed in my extensive syllabus. It's a lot of pages, hang in there, but I'll go over some important items that are from the syllabus, but I still recommend you read it and review the syllabus and most importantly, the course calendar. Uh, print it out and keep it in your records. It's especially important that you refer to the syllabus throughout the semester uh, because you're going to have questions about some of my policies and even though you might go over them at the beginning of the semester, you might have to go, go back to it and just see how I am about late work or um, special populations or other things you might have questions about. They're all listed in the syllabus. Uh, again, my name is Professor Zabrowski. I've been teaching college for 15 years and I've been teaching online courses for 13 years. Um, I teach a general psychology course, a lifespan growth and development course, a social psychology course, and then I also teach the Learning Framework Psych 1300 course. Um, a little bit about me, I grew up in LaPorte, Texas. I uh, now live in the Bay Area with my husband and my three children and my dog Charlie. That was Charlie. So. I like to organize my course. It's challenging, uh, but I like to say it's fair because I give you all the tools you need to be successful. You just have to read and follow directions. I also have a tendency to go into deep detail of what you need to do, but always feel free to email me or leave me a voicemail if you need clarification. The best way to contact me is through my email and you'll see it all over the course, so don't hesitate to email me. I will always reply to you within 24 hours unless it's on a Friday and then I'll reply first thing Monday morning. I organize my course like I said to be challenging but fair. College is hard but it's supposed to be hard but I give you all the tools you need to be successful. All the due dates are listed on the calendar but I have to tell you I will strictly enforce them. I don't want emails with excuses of why you couldn't follow a deadline. I open all tests and assignments and plenty of time for you to finish them. I give you reminders when they're open and I'll also remind you when they close. So that is part of the requirements for my course as you follow the deadlines to the exact date and time. I put together a short survey at the beginning of my syllabus because I've worked in um, teaching and online for so long that I kind of know exactly what you need to agree to before taking this course. So now I'm going to go over some of those things in that survey with you at this time. So at the beginning of the syllabus it says, answer these questions before considering taking my online course. You, need, you don't need to email me these answers, you just need to be able to answer yes to all of them before you continue on in my online course. There are definitely other courses you can take or maybe you're better off taking a face-to-face -face course. So here are some of the requirements that I have. Number one, do you have daily access to a working computer and internet access on a daily basis. A working computer will allow you to take the test and assignments. A phone is not considered a working computer that is appropriate to take an online course. So you need a working computer and have access on, to that on a daily basis and working internet. Number two, do you have the same amount of time to work on this course course as you would if you were taking a face-to-face -face course. A face-to-face -face course is three hours per week traditionally. Those hours can be split up or taken all at one time. But you need at least three hours plus the additional hours needed to study outside of the course. So for every hour you take in college, it requires about an hour to an hour and a half outside of the class to continue to do the work and the homework. So this is going to take up many hours of your week and you have to schedule them as if you were going and attending an actual face-to-face -face class. Number three, do you consider yourself strongly self-motivated and very organized? An online course requires a self-starter. 
somebody who's going to make themselves read every single day, make themselves check Blackboard, make themselves do the required uh, coursework where a face-to-face -face instructor isn't constantly reminding you. So if you're organized and you're a self-starter, I think online class is probably good for you. Number four, are you an independent learner? I'll give you access to interesting things to help the information from the textbook come alive, but you have to do it on your own the majority of the time. So please consider that before you take an online course. Are you comfortable and adept at using the computer, Blackboard, and basic computer and internet programs? Things like YouTube, or Blackboard, or um, any type of additional computer programs that supplement the course, you have to be comfortable either learning them, getting help, or already knowing them, and being pretty proficient on the computer before you even start an online course. And number six, are you a strong reader? Can you read and comprehend at least one college level textbook chapter per week? In my face-to-face -face class, we cover about a chapter a week. It's almost the same in an online course. So are you a good reader? because the majority of the information comes from the book. You have to be able to read, comprehend, and use the book on a daily basis. The textbook is required, and you're going to need it throughout the semester, or you won't be able to get the information, and you won't be able to pass the course. If you can answer yes to all these questions, and you can commit the necessary time and effort it takes to be successful in an online course, and guys, let me tell you, I've taught this long enough, I know what's required, you can't skate by, then I think this is the right course for you. If you do not think that these five or six questions, and you can go back over in your syllabus, apply to you, then it's time to reconsider and take this course in another format. But if you can answer yes, I think we can work together. I think I'll give you all the information you need to get started. I'll organize the course. So you'll know what to expect and you have to commit the time and effort to do well. And if you can, I think you'll be highly successful and I think you'll enjoy this type of coursework. Really it comes down to flexibility when you're going to be able to read and study, flexibility within a certain amount of time you can take tests and turn in assignments, but following the deadlines exactly. And if you can do that, read over the calendar, read over the rest of the syllabus, we're going to have a great semester. Now I'd like you to send me an email with either a short video or a photograph and just a small bio. Tell me about yourself. So, thank you for listening. It's nice to meet you, and let's have a great semester.